currently in my sister's office. This is also the guest bedroom. I came here last night with the pups. <sighs> Look at Leo. I'm a triple, honey, welcome to Trivago. Tell me who you know, who is it tripping for a follow? Who all in the air like Showtime and the Apollo? Puffing up your chest, the next thing you know is hollow, but well, hello. I've been swinging like some jello. You got one in the fun guy, he gets some portobello, so I guess I need some grease up on my elbow. Yeah. But now my light turned yellow. And I've been looking for a cheat code. Life don't come in a neat bowl, bringing the receipt home. But we know, we know that. Keep your head up and your seat pulled back. Ah, uh, how do people see you that can burden a man? 22 years on a personal brand. I just got done getting ready. I put a little more love into my makeup and hair today, just because, no reason in particular. And I really like how my hair and my makeup turned out. And I also have been loving throwing on a blouse. There's something very chic and effortless and easy about it. This one is by Neely Lowton. And as you can see, I have on some new jewelry pieces that I wanna to talk to you guys about. They're by Monica Vinegar and they are sponsoring this video, so thank you so much. All of their pieces are made with 100% recycled sterling silver and recycled 18 karat gold for May along with their packaging, which is made out of recycled materials as well. They're currently carbon neutral, working towards being carbon negative. I think that's amazing. Another thing that I really admire about the brand is that they offer a repair and rewear program, meaning that every piece that you purchase from them automatically comes with a five-year warranty. And so during that period, if you accidentally scratch a pendant, you can send it off to them and they will do it free of charge, which I think is great because that just means you buy less and you wear more. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. I have on two necklaces. This is the Ulta 17 inch chain necklace. I don't own anything with these kind of longer links and it is a nice statement, but it's not like too in your face, which I really appreciate. And underneath I have on this beautiful pendant. I love the organic shape. There's some texture. The quality feels great. It just feels very substantial and it has a little bit of weight to it, which is nice. And I have this pendant on a fine chain necklace. This necklace is adjustable. I can't tell you how many times I just wanna play with the length because maybe I'm layering it with other necklaces and when you have a fixed chain, there's really nothing you can do. But this chain is adjustable in a very functional way. I really appreciate that. And for my rings, I have on three. It looks like this is one, but it's actually two pieces. This is the Galaxy Diamond stacking ring. And then the one underneath that is called the Galaxy Diamond pre-stacking ring. Love a good chunky moment, so I just stack them. I love how nothing looks too perfect, and I think there's a lot of beauty in that. And this one is called the Deya Odyssey ring. There's a lapis stone. So those were a couple of pieces that are my personal favorites. Head on over and check them out. The link will be in the description box. And thank you so much to Monica Vinader for sponsoring today's video.
just got to my very first private boxing lesson. I'm a little early, so I'm just waiting in the car. I'm looking for a weekend activity um, and kind of workout because I don't really have much planned on the weekends. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, maybe I'll try to film a little bit of the first lesson. I'm not too sure. I always have to see how the vibe is because it's really awkward bringing out the camera and I just want to make sure, you know, he feels comfortable. I'm back at home. The first session went really well. Didn't end up filming anything just because I felt like it would have been a little bit disruptive. We were really in the zone. My hands are super shaky though. He had me sign a form afterwards and I, I, could, I could barely spell my name. I'm just like writing like a kindergartner. Thoroughly enjoyed my session. So I'm excited to see where this goes. Picked up my meat for the week. I go to McCall's for all of my meat and seafood. It's right here in Los Feliz. Just got back home from McCall's. Thought I'd do a little haul. One filet of Scottish salmon, grass-fed ground beef. They call it chuck. Got a pound of Italian sausage with the casing removed. I'm making chili, so that's why I got ground beef and sausage. Two chicken breasts and five breakfast sausage links. I've been picking up my meats and seafood from McCall's for the last month. I think the best way to consume meat is by going to your local butcher. It's just nice to know that I'm eating quality meat and it's been ethically sourced and I honestly don't know if I could go back. So yeah, I'm gonna um, make some chili. I've never made chili before and I've been craving it. Not sure how healthy it is, uh, but I love just making batches of soup because I don't have to think about what I eat. It's always great when you heat it up and it's quite easy. Like you just throw everything in a pot. So yeah, let's get the cooking.
This was worth it. Oh my goodness. So much flavor. This is just me to test. Three, two, three. Stop. 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 Stop.